Vous faites que poser les mêmes questions chaque semaine. Ça va au travail Avez-vous des idées noires en ce moment Tout ce que j'ai, c'est des idées noires. You know, when I went to Todd's office early on in meeting him, he had a, a few graphic novels around some material in Joker. And uh, I almost picked him up and and he said, you know, you could take those if you want. And I thought, no, I, I don't, I don't want to be influenced by it. I, I, I want to kind of find something that feels like it's, it's our own. Vous pouvez arrêter d'embêter mon fils Pardon. Arthur, j'ai de mauvaises nouvelles pour vous. C'est la dernière fois que nous nous voyons. Vous écoutez rien, hein Vous faites que poser les mêmes questions chaque semaine. Ça va au travail Avez-vous des idées noires en ce moment Tout ce que j'ai, c'est des idées noires. I didn't know a lot about Joker, honestly. Um, I'd seen uh, Tim Burton's Batman when it came out when I was a kid. I saw Dark Knight when it came out. Um, and I read a graphic novel called Arkham Asylum when I was a kid. Um, but that's really all I knew of the character, which I, I think was really good. Um, Obviously, the Joker laugh is is iconic. It's a, it's a big, important part of the character. Um, but when the first thing, when I met Todd, before I even read the script, he showed me videos of people that um, have this condition in which they have uncontrollable fits of laughter. Um, and so I studied that, and I wasn't sure if I could do it or do it well. And so, yes, I asked Todd to come over and to audition me. and. Uh, and I was really uncomfortable <laughs> for him. <laughs> uh, and it took a while, but I, but I felt like if I, if I wasn't able to do that in front of him when I needed to, then I just, I, I never would get it. J'ai passé toute ma vie sans même savoir si j'existais réellement. Eh bien oui, j'existe. Et les gens commencent à s'en rendre compte. <rire> <rire> 